This video is about basic concept of risk. We will discuss about meaning of risk. In this video, we will discuss about what is risk. How do we define risk? There are multiple definitions of the risk. These are some of the definitions from widely accepted sources. But for serious exam, we need not worry about any of the them. All the above definitions directly or indirectly uses two words. What are they? Probability and impact. So for us, risk is probability and impact and we need not worry about of any of the above definition for exam perspective. In simple language, risk is the product of probability and impact. Both probability and impact should exist to constitute a risk. Let us take one example. Risk of rain damaging an equipment. How to calculate this particular risk? So, in scenario 1, we have 0% chance of rain as probability, whereas impact equipment costing $10,000. So, what will be the risk in this case? Is there cannot be any rain there is no chance of equipment being damaged so there is zero risk in another scenario there is 100 percent chance of rain but equipment is costing only zero dollar maybe all those scrap item so here again risk will be nil this indicates both probability and impact plays an important part in calculating risk. So even if my equipment costs $10,000, but my probability is zero, my risk will be zero. On the other hand, even if I do have 100% probability, but my equipment is zero, so my risk will also be zero. Let us discuss some key aspects from exam perspective. Risk can be defined as Yes, product of probability and impact. Once the likelihood has been determined, what should be the next step? Likelihood means probability. To determine the risk, we need to have two elements, probability and impact. So next step is to determine the magnitude of the impact. Let us practice some questions. Risk can be defined as product of probability and severity of the impact. Next question. Once the likelihood of an event has been determined, which of the below factors should be accessed next? Correct. This is what we already discussed. Most important factor for evaluation of the risk is to
consider the probability and likelihood of loss. Risk evaluation should take into account the potential size and likelihood of a loss. Though other factors are important, the impact of the risk should be the primary driver for risk evaluation. It should be the residual risk that is more relevant. It is not mandatory to protect all the assets. This is not a primary factor. Next question. Most important factor for mitigation of risk is to risk mitigation strategy. That is what kind of control to be implemented, which risk to be controlled first. In such cases, it is important to rank the risk first. Ranking of the risk helps the organization to determine the priority resources should be utilized to address the top level risk. Threats and vulnerability are more, more important from risk identification perspective rather than risk mitigation perspective. Risk owner identification is more important during risk analysis. It is not possible to address or it is in fact not practical to address all the risk Thanks for watching.